climate of the western U.S. has already warmed by several degrees over the past few decades, and it's projected to get even warmer. The changes that we've already experienced are putting plants and animals and ecosystems at risk like never before. So the Nature Conservancy has been spearheading this pilot project in coordination with the Gunnison Climate Working Group. The Climate Working Group is a partnership of public and private agencies, as well as private landowners, working to address the impacts of climate change in the Gunnison Basin. The specific problem in the Gunnison Basin is that there are these small wetlands in this sagebrush shrubland ecosystem that provide critical habitat for sage grouse to, to raise their young chicks. So the purpose of this restoration project is to correct uh, the downward trend in that habitat type due to uh, erosion and drying out of the valley bottoms. We're using small handmade structures to resaturate the soils and stimulate the growth of that kind of vegetation and therefore increase the available habitat. Many of the projects that I've designed, such as this one, are designed so that they can be installed by hand. Streams fix themselves with sticks and stones, so we can make uh, handmade structures using sticks and stones with a little imagination that accelerate the, the recovery of incised stream channels or gullies. Here we have a, a low rock terrace that we call a media luna or a half moon because it's built on the contour, has a half moon shape. And its purpose is to disperse water from the eroded stream system back across the entire surface of this former wet meadow. If we look down valley, we can see a plume of grass that's delineated by pink flags. Those pink flags show the edge of the current wetland and with this structure we intend to disperse flow across the whole valley bottom and convert it all back to wetland or wet meadow. Wildlife species are dependent upon water during different parts of their life cycles. The Gunnison sage grouse is no different. They're dependent upon these riparian or mesic areas during the brood rearing period and also later on in the summer for summer fall habitat. These areas provide succulent grasses and forbs and also a greater abundance of insects for chicks to forage on. And then the faster that chicks can put on weight, the better or more likely their, their survival is. I saw this project as a means of having more water to grow more grass, grow willows, grow habitat that livestock would use, the cows and calves when we run them in the spring, but also help the wildlife that uses this area, being able to stop the erosion that was going on in this stream bed where the, the water when it was going down through there would make an incision cut or head cuts and they get so deep and so wide that you couldn't ride a horse across them. So being able to arrest that type of erosion that was occurring will make it easier to manage our cattle. What motivated me to get into this project was the condition of the property primarily and my desire to make it better. That's what motivated me to do it. This is an assemblage of two different homesteads that were uh, properties homesteaded back in the 1930s and at some point in time this property uh, supported two families. If you looked at it today you wouldn't think it was capable of doing that. It's too dry. There's just not enough stuff growing. But there is very clearly an old homestead and uh, haying equipment still lying around where somebody was putting up hay off of this property that right now grows sagebrush. This project can definitely greatly enhance winter range for deer and elk um, if we can actually establish you know, willow stands back into the system. We also have a great opportunity to improve nesting for neotropical migrants and some of those other bird species. Water quality should improve. 
the productivity of the site, just the amount of forage that's available for wildlife and also livestock to use will be better. And the overall abundance of water that's available uh, should also increase. Well, this year we focused on private lands on two ranches in the Gunnison Basin. And our hope is that we can expand the project onto adjacent public lands as well as other lands across the basin in the future. So we hope to learn from what we're doing here to share with ranchers and, and other land managers so that they can begin to use these simple restoration techniques on their lands as well. Mm -hmm.